Hello everybody and welcome back to another online Shrine Time story time. I'm Mrs. Ryle, the librarian at Shrine School, here to bring you another story this week. And we are reading today, as you see, I've got my little cat ears on to get ready for this story because it is called They All Saw a Cat by Brendan Wenzel. And this story is being read with Chronicle Books permission who are letting teachers, educators, and librarians read their stories online to their students while we are in this quarantine. And so I'd like to give a big thank you to Chronicle Books. If you would like to purchase a copy of this story, check the video description. And I will link to places and bookstores where you can purchase your own copy and add it to your collection. So let's get started with the story they all saw. A cat. The cat walked through the world with its whiskers, ears, and paws. And the child saw a cat. And the dog saw a cat. And the fox saw a cat. Yes. They all saw, what did they see? A cat. The cat walked through the world with its whiskers, ears, and paws. And the fish saw a cat. And the mouse saw a cat. Do you think the mouse was scared? Do you think the fish was scared? Maybe. Because sometimes cats walk outside and they eat mice. And the bee saw a cat. Yes, they all saw, what did they see? A cat. The cat walked through the world with its whiskers, ears, and paws. And the bird saw a cat. And the flea saw a cat. I hope it didn't bite the cat. And the snake saw a cat. And the skunk saw a cat. And the worm saw a cat. And the bat saw a cat. Yes, they all saw a cat. Yes, they all saw a cat. A child, and a dog, and a fox, and a fish, and a mouse, and a bee, and a bird, and a flea, and a snake, and a skunk, and a worm, and a bat. The cat knew them all, and they all knew the cat. And the cat walked through the world with its whiskers, ears, and paws. And then it came to the water. And imagine what it saw. What do you think it saw when it looked into the water? I bet it saw its reflection and it got to see a cat too. I hope you guys really enjoyed that story. I really liked it. I liked getting to see all the different types of animals a cat might see as it walks around outside. And here's my challenge to you. Now that we've read a story about a cat walking around outside and everything it saw and everything that saw the cat, I'm gonna challenge you to go outside in your backyard and see what you can see. Maybe you'll see a worm. Maybe you'll see a bird. Maybe you'll see a bee. 
There are lots of fun things outside to see right now because it's springtime. There's flowers and bees and birds and worms. So take some time outside in the nice weather and get to know what's in your own backyard. And now it is time to say goodbye friends, goodbye friends, goodbye friends. It's time to say goodbye. And I will see you next week with another story. Stay safe and get some good time outside this week. See you guys. <laughs>